Week three, Davis needs this project as soon as possible. <laughs> Code's not working. I don't know why. Uh, it's late. <sighs> Maybe once this is all over, I'll go see Elizabeth, hopefully. so tired. Is it your boss or? <sighs> Maybe I should go see her after Wednesday. No, once everything is wrapped up. You finished your code, haven't you? Yeah, it's not working. Paul, <sighs> you want it to happen, right? I, I... Well, then listen to me, OK? You really haven't done much. I've been doing the rest. I know you could do it, Paul. You know you could do it. There once was a boy named Phathon. He was obsessed with the idea of riding the Chariot of the Sun to prove his worthiness and distinguish himself amongst all others. After ignoring several warnings from those around him, he rode the chariot. The horses, however, got too close to the ground. The sun scorched the earth and left nothing but ashes and rubble. Don't you get it, Paul? You're not an You're innovator, not an innovator, or a genius, or, a genius, or, anyone, or anyone worth remembering. Worth remembering. You're Phathon. You thought you could drive the chariot, and now the world will burn with you because of it. Everyone is in on this. Strangers would understand. I want to have to train. Finding shelter quickly may save your life. But you can't get into a house. Get behind a wall. Deep in the On your side, away from the city. You're going to destroy everything. I knew we would have this conversation. Eventually. But I didn't think it would be so soon. You're using me. And for what? A nuclear power plant? Yes. But also no. Why? What was the purpose? Chaos. I can't survive without it. I won't launch the program. Paul, you've already built a perfect foundation. All I need to do now is start building. I'll stop you. <laughs> How? How could you possibly stop me? It's my dream, remember? Paul, think about it. Think about you, all I've done for you. If you do this, no one will remember your name. You'll never be Paul Barron. There will only be the one that they replaced. Do not give them the satisfaction. I'm sorry. Paul!
many years has this been? I've lost count. About 30. More than I had hoped. 30 years in the floppy disk. All because we forgot we were inside your head. Elizabeth didn't tell me until years later that she didn't receive the letter. <sighs> All that just to be outsmarted by an incompetent mailman. So, what are you gonna do now? I could try to stop you, but my mind is not as spry as it once was. Good news, I abandoned a new plan at about year 16. So, you're just gonna lay down and die? That doesn't sound like you at all. Lucky for humanity's plan at year 19, I've come up with a new plan. I will live as a machine. Perfect way of coexisting. I get to cause a bit of chaos and no one dies. So, I mean, you can't. You saw what it did to me. That's why I won't devote myself into one person. I'll spread my influence globally. I'm not asking for your permission. Think of this more as a heads up. Until then, goodbye, Paul. All this time, and we still don't know your name. <laughs>